guys, Kilo Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another video. I know I'm not in my normal setting, so I do apologize about that. But today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this beautiful, yes, this braided wig. And it's gonna be a full on tutorial from start to finish on how I made this wig. I was inspired by a few ladies on YouTube on how to do this, but this is just my spin on how to achieve this style. And if you wanna see more videos like this, thumbs up this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. So to begin this wig, you're going to need a needle, either curved or straight, thread, either nylon or cotton, a spandex dome cap, and then T-pins to secure your wig in place. Now as you can see, I've already secured my wig to the wig stand, and I'm just going to go ahead and sew down that lace closure. Now with the lace closure, it doesn't matter what length you get, it doesn't matter what kind of closure you get. Um, anything is fine. I got a free part lace closure. Uh, it's 8 inches I believe. And if you would like, you can also use a lace frontal to substitute for the lace closure. So for this braided wig, I used four packs of expression braiding hair in color one. I cut one pack into three, and then three packs into two. So from what you're seeing, I had already pre-crocheted the hair, like pre-braided it. If you guys would like to see how I did this, I can make another video. Just leave a comment below and I'll show you guys how I did that. So next, I am going to show you guys how I install the braids on the wig. I took one braid and I went ahead and took my needle and put it through the loop. And after I did this, I double knotted it. And I'll show you one more time. So I put the uh, needle through the loop and I went ahead and double knotted it. As for the placements of the braids, I just made sure to uh, stagger them. I didn't really have a plan. I just wanted to make sure that um, there were no like spaces or gaps in the wig. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of the video but it's just gonna give you a closer look on how I place the braids.
Next up, I'm going to go ahead and pluck the uh, lace closure. I am just trying to define that middle part, so I'm going to do a little tweezing here and there. So after plucking the part, I braided the hair off camera and I'm just going to show you how I did a few braids. So I'll take this Murray's Edge Wax and I'm going to apply a thin section on the hair just to tame the flyaways and I'm going to braid the hair as is. I just continue braiding the hair on the lace closure. And now that my braids are complete, I'm going to take some scissors and just trim all the little flyaways. As you can see, the hair is super full at this point. I did go through and add some um, braids at the back to kind of cover any gaps that I had. And I'm just zooming in so you can see those braids. Nice and neat. And to make sure that the hair has a really nice sleek look, you want to dip the ends in hot water and that will just um, make the braids at the end really nice and smooth. That completes my braided wig, you guys. Hope you liked it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the slow mos now. Are you ready? If you give your heart to me, I don't go let you go. Where I don't go do you Sabasa, baby, trust in me. When you give your heart to me, I don't go let you go. Where I don't go do you Sabasa, baby, trust in me. I go do your body like skin tight. Where I go do it by your side Ten times when I do get to see God